Okay, so the house is super cute, but it's also very cozy. <laughs> That's a realtor term for small. It's only 1,600 square feet plus a couple, but the rooms are pretty small. There's a little wraparound deck. This is looking into the living room and the dining room. And then the remainder of the front porch. So it's got a cute front porch. This is the entry to the home. Upstairs goes to a bedroom and a bonus room and a full bathroom. This is the entry. And the part that's kind of a bummer, see this living room? It's it's a drop-in, a, a sunken living room, and it's got the railing between the dining room and the, I guess it's now it's a little pasture into the kitchen. If that living room was raised, that floor, those railings were gone, it would appear to be much bigger. But the way it's laid out, it's pretty limited. And the fireplace is beautiful, but that hearth takes up quite a bit of space too. So really, this is your only living room area, and it's just not very big for five people. There's a walk-in, I mean, I'm sorry, a coat closet at the entryway. And I almost wonder if this wall right here could be knocked out along with the one on the other side. So this whole corner chunk right there to open it up. Still doesn't make it for very, make it huge living space. It would help, but it still wouldn't make it that big. This is the dining room. And I am gonna go back this way to show you the kitchen. Which is cute as can be, it's just not big. So here's your kitchen. Quite a few showings on the house so far. It's been on the market four days. Back door out to the yard. And then the dining room. This is the wall that I was wondering if it could be knocked out or brought down to a half wall and you could put in like a breakfast nook, a little sitting bar. Um, or leave it and put in more cabinets and counter space because there's certainly not much. Put in an island. If that was knocked out, I don't know. And it's electric wall heat throughout. It's not very efficient, pretty spendy. So down the hallway here, on the left, I've just got a linen closet. Down the hallway next door on the left is a really nice sized laundry room. And on the right, we have the full bathroom. The floors are beautiful throughout. I mean, it's, it's definitely moving ready, just has uh, such small rooms. This, I believe they're calling the master because it's connected to that bathroom. And the bathroom is, would be shared. It would be a guest bath and a master bath. And this is the closet, not it's just a standard size two-door closet. It's not a walk-in. Back this way facing the hallway and the bathroom. And then out of the master across the hall is another bedroom. Pretty small. Electrical panel. About the same size closet as the master. Okay. And another linen closet. If it was my house, I would be taking out that first linen closet and turning it into more storage, coat closet or something, I don't know. All right. 
front door where I came in. Nice little window. And up the stairs we go. Carpet's in good shape. Flooring's in good shape. Cabinets are in good shape. And at the top of the stairs is a bathroom. Another full bath. This house has three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. A small closet behind this door. A little denim closet. And then this is that bonus room that could actually be used as a master. It would be a great master bedroom, except it doesn't have a closet. But it's good size. And we've got this linen closet here and a bathroom, the full bathroom there. So it could be converted into a master bath. And then this is a bedroom sitting right next to it. There's no door entering the master. Or, well, I'm calling it a master, but they call it a bonus room. This bedroom here could be used for the little guy till he got older. And then could become a nursery. Since you want to keep him on the first floor with you guys for a little while longer. And then closet right there. And that little wall that you're seeing behind it, I think this is that linen closet that's on the inside of the bathroom. So I don't know if that could be removed and a little more space opened up for a bigger closet. But anyway, so now we're talking renovations to make all that work. And to raise that living room floor, knock out the dining room kitchen wall, it's really the only way I see this working for you guys. Otherwise it's gonna just be pretty darn cozy. At 1,600 square feet. Unless this room was downstairs, and it's not. So, anyway, that is inside of the house. I'll take you back downstairs. We'll just spend a couple minutes. I'll show you the barn. Land is nice. Oh, it's pouring down rain. Still. Alright, so here's the driveway coming up. It's pretty wooded. At least coming into the property anyway. This is the front yard. Your parents left us a little bit ago. They felt it was too small for you guys, too. Here's the barn. Here's the back and the side yard. I'll go walk over here. Show you more of the side yard. This has this nice patio at the back. Sorry, I'm in my video jiggly. In a lot more usable land here than the last house we just looked at. Sorry, I'm not going to go to the edge of the property. It's five acres and it is monsooning out here, as you can probably hear. neighbor's house. And so the property slopes down 
here. And it looks like it can kind of continues to slope. It's still usable. Oh my goodness, it's raining so hard. There's the barn. Just typical horse stalls. Poop, I think. And storage. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Cute little home sitting on five acres. The land is exactly what you guys want. House is super cute, but the rooms are small. So, unfortunately, I don't think this is the one for you guys. The home is overpriced. Uh, they've got it at $244 a square foot, and I think it should be down at like $210, so it's quite substantially overpriced in my opinion. It should be between $210 and $220. So we'll let it sit on the market. We'll see what happens, and when you guys come into town, if you want to see it, then uh, we can come and show you in person. Until we talk, have a good day. Bye.